looking for a fun, flavorful, delicious side dish to serve up for your Thanksgiving this year? Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome back to the Organics channel where we are passionate about bringing you healthy recipes every week to inspire you to cook more at home. Today we're going to be making a roasted cauliflower cranberry and walnut sheet. Let's begin today by taking one head of cauliflower and cutting it into bite-sized pieces. After removing the large stem, I like to turn the cauliflower over and then gently using my knife, split the cauliflower into desired size chunks. So just remember that when we're roasting, it's really helpful to try and cut the florets into relatively same size pieces, just to help the veggies roast more evenly. Place your cauliflower into a large mixing bowl, and then we're going to add in one cup of fresh or frozen cranberries, which is about three and a half ounces. Then we have two to three minced up garlic cloves. Drizzle on three tablespoons of pure maple syrup, honey, or your preferred sweetener. Next, we're going to drizzle on three tablespoons of either olive or avocado oil or melted up butter or ghee. I'm using butter today from grass-fed cows. Toss everything together to coat really well. And then we're going to add in some spices. I have one and a half tablespoons of curry powder, three and a quarter teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt, and one sixteenth to one eighth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Toss everything together one more time and then spread out evenly on a parchment lined baking sheet. Place in a 400 degree preheated oven and roast for 20 minutes. And then remove the pan and add in one half to one cup of walnuts or your favorite nut. Give everything a good toss all together and then place your pan back into the oven and continue roasting for another 10 minutes or until desired doneness is reached. Okay, our cauliflower cranberry walnut roast is ready for a taste. It smells so good. I'm loving all of these colors together. So let's see. I love all of these flavors together. Wow, the tartness of the cranberries and the spiciness of the curry powder, so good. Okay, so it's spicy. I like spicy. If you don't want it to be quite that hot, then just reduce the curry powder to about a tablespoon worth or a little bit less. This is so fun. Such a fun, different recipe to put out on your Thanksgiving table. I hope you give this one a try. Hey, when I see you next, it's going to be Thanksgiving Day. So I hope you get the best quality time with those you love. And then be sure to tune in because I'm going to show you a recipe on how to incorporate all of those Thanksgiving leftovers.